everyone, I'm Rachel with Adventurous Heart and today I have something really exciting to share with you. Not an animal exactly this time, but I want you to meet the person responsible for my love of animals, my grandpa, Marv. <laughs> Yes, that is who my skunk is named after, but we are here at his house where he has some of his emu and other animals. So we're just going to kind of have a conversation real quick. So Grandpa, where did your love for animals come from? How did all of this that you passed on to me come about? I don't know. I started when I was real young with little coons and pigeons and raising all kind of, well, we raised coons, skunks, possums, foxes. <laughs> even coyotes and we raised us a lot of mules and little ponies and we pulled ponies and farmed even a little bit with horses played with them and just enjoyed it still enjoy it hell i'm 82 and i still enjoy all my animals my pigeons uh. nice so what was your favorite animal to have oh shit i don't the know emus, like right here right, right here choose well me. yeah <laughs> <laughs> now because, but I liked the deer when I had the deer and all that too so yeah I remember when we were younger grandpa would have the deer and I would take a bottle and I would feed them and you'd have them on a bottle and then they'd start licking your face yeah. and it was so cute to be able to to have that experience and the baby raccoons that you talked about yeah, you've got a finger to show for them. <laughs> I, I do have a finger that he's referring to there's maybe about uh, 11 scars on this finger I was three years old and like any three-year-old they say don't put your finger in something you're probably gonna put your finger in something so uh, yeah porcupines in the leg getting quilled raccoon bites kind of comes with the territory but the love for it is so much stronger and this guy right here is responsible for that love not for the raccoon bites or the porcupines but definitely for the love of animals so you said skunk earlier i oh. remember as a kid though that i asked to get a skunk and i was always told no tell me more about why i couldn't get a skunk until i turned older and in my own house well i think then what? <laughs> you should have got me one. I know. I got you a freaking fox that time. That's the second time I started raising a fox again because when I get one, I always had to get a mate so you could raise it. That's <laughs> right. So uh, Grandpa and I would always go to swap meets. And when we were at swap meets, you probably don't know what that is, but it's everyone brings all of their animals and you swap them back and forth. And so I would carry raccoons around. I saw this adorable little fox that I net laid that I named Max and I would walk them around on leashes around the, the yard and have so much fun with them. So absolutely loved having Max. So he did give me a fox, not a skunk. I now have a skunk Marv that you've seen before and uh, named him after grandpa. What do you think about having a skunk named after you? <laughs> <laughs> there could have been the last one. <laughs> there you go. There could have been things. Skunks were nice. I mean, you know, I did say get surprised by one once, so uh -oh. I thought I had descended. And then that's, well, I don't walk through the clothes of the washing machine in the basement. She'll never know the difference. <laughs> that was a mistake. Because, Grandma knew the difference. <laughs> yeah, well, the house felt like every time the furnace kicked on, it would suck the spell because I washed them down the basement. Son of a brick for better than a month. Everything smelled like skunk in the house when the furnace kicked on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Sounds like a bad time. Yeah, yeah. So any animal advice for me as I continue to have animals, a little different than yours. I have a porcupine and stuff. What kind of advice after raising all of these animals? Enjoy them. Enjoy them. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's the thing. I don't know what the hell I'd do if I wouldn't have my animals. Yeah, yeah. So I would probably be sitting or dead for now. Yeah. That's the way they am up built to love it and enjoyed my animals and stuff and I hope you enjoy them as long as I do. Oh yeah, yeah. man. There's yeah. so much joy, so much love all around the animals. Yeah. Oh awesome. yeah. Yeah, you can't help but like but the people used to say, why are you talking? I'd be in the barn, nobody around. I'd <laughs> talk to them and then I think they know what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I give them little ponies, I whistle, they come running. I don't want them and what's that? does help yeah. for sure when you whistle but yeah I feel the same way with Mowenzi she'll come over she'll cuddle under me and uh, sometimes she'll get scared and she'll, she'll be like what was that and then she'll run over to where I'm at and kind of tuck under make sure it's good and then yeah. go so 
Yeah, yeah definitely. Everything agree. knows the whistle. When I whistle, that means it, even these emus come <laughs> That's why you're whistle. here, right? Yeah. That's why you're here. I try to pet you, but I know you just want food. <laughs> Go over there. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Yeah, you're nice, aren't you? Uh -huh. Well, Grandpa, thank you so much for kind of giving me a little more backstory to where my love for animals come yeah. from. This is the guy responsible for this YouTube channel, essentially, because uh, not for him, I wouldn't have the love of animals. So thanks for sharing the love of animals with me. You're welcome. <laughs> I enjoy them. So cool. I say I hope. And that's why I like other people yeah. to come and look at them and enjoy them like I do. So Yeah, that's true. Grandpa's always shared his animals with me. You're going to bite my hand? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have any. He's always shared his love for animals with everybody. Anytime someone wants to see him, come on over, come on, look at him. And that's kind of how I want to share him on this channel with everybody too is come on, see how cool they are. Everyone thinks porcupine and skunk and they're like, oh, yeah, they're, they're horrible. Not. You can't do anything. But they're nice pets. If you get to know them, they're just like you said, they're, yeah. they're nice pets. Yes. <laughs>